guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to a brand new speed build. Today we are doing a house that is inspired by gingerbread houses because it is December. And I thought that would be a fun idea to do. And for some reason, I really wanted to upload that today. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was like, I want to make a gingerbread house for my birthday. So it's my birthday today when this is being uploaded and this is what I wanted to do. So gingerbread house, how exciting. Uh, and I'll actually not be home today. I'm going to the casino and hopefully gonna have a fun day. Uh, but I really, really wanted to build a gingerbread house today. So that's what we're doing. And I think it's pretty cute. It's okay. It's cute. It's a strong word because like, it's fun to make a gingerbread house in real life. They're cute, you know, in that they're a house made out of cookies and candy and frosting. But to live in one, that's taking it just a, a little bit too far. So I wouldn't necessarily say this house is cute. I think it's more so tacky, maybe quirky, if you want to, you know, use a little bit more of a positive terminology. Uh, but I thought it would be a fun idea to build. I have no idea if anyone would ever want to live in this house, but I thought it was really fun. And I'm doing the decorations up here in the front with snowballs and water balloons so they stick in on the inside of the build so I had to be very um experimental with things to cover all of these decorations with on the inside because we have a ton of decorations on the outside that clip into the house a lot so I think most of them we were able to cover so that was really good and I'm sizing up these I don't actually know what they are they kind of look like candy canes I'm not sure though and I thought that they looked nicer in the debug menu so those are on the corner of the house all over the place. And this ends up being just a one bedroom house uh, with a, a living room and like the dining area is in the living room and a kitchen and a bathroom. So it's a very simple house. I have no, like I said, I have no idea who would live here. Let me know if uh, you'd want to live in a gingerbread house or if you have any Sims that do or what kind of Sim you would imagine living in a gingerbread house. Because uh, we can't really have gingerbread men. <laughs> so... so I, I don't know who, maybe elves. This could be like an elf house or like Santa could live in a gingerbread house. Like That's an idea. Uh, but I just thought it would be fun to build even though uh, I don't know who would live here. And I wanted to make it functional if you guys did want to go ahead and play in this house. So it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. If you'd like to download it, if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, it should pop up. I probably just named it gingerbread house or whatever the title of this video is. I'm not sure what I'm titling it yet. Uh, but yeah, we added all kinds of cute decorations out here and I used these rounded windows because I really feel like they're a little bit exaggerated and they could have been drawn on with frosting. I actually haven't made a gingerbread house in a really long time. Although I, I bought this stuff to make one last year and by that I mean I bought a kit because I wasn't about to bake anything. Uh, I'm very bad in the kitchen <laughs> and I never made it, but I was really excited because I bought like, instead of a gingerbread one, I brought, bought like a dark chocolatey, it wasn't dark chocolate, but it looked like gingerbread, but it was chocolate instead because I always made gingerbread houses as a kid, but I never ate them because I really don't like gingerbread, but I like the idea of it. And uh, there's a lot of things that I started doing and then I got rid of, but I kept in some of the footage, not all of it, but a little bit of it to kind of show some of the things I was trying with some different decorations. And we're just messing with the terrain here. I think with snow in particular, it looks so nice when the terrain's not flat. It looks like there's piles of snow and I just think that is so cute. Uh, I did add those reindeer out front, but I believe I got rid of them in the end. They were floating a bit and I really wanted the decorations on the outside to look more cartoony. And those are super cute, but I feel like they're not cartoony. <laughs> they're really realistic to like decorations somebody would have. So I got rid of those in the end. The inside is way more functional and less cartoony. It's just like very, it's in your face. It's, it's, it's definitely in your face. Like I said, tacky, very, very tacky. You guys will see what I mean. But we're adding some more snowballs on the side of the building here. Just adding a little bit more decoration, which I thought was kind of nice. And um, of course, more of these like candy cane things on the sides. Not entirely sure what they are, but we used them instead of columns throughout this house because they look like columns and I think they're really fun. I wish we had some items like this, like regular columns in the game. Like, okay, I'm trying to not say the word like. <laughs> I noticed in my last speed build, I said, I was listening to it back and I said that word like 30 times in a 20 second period. So I'm gonna try not to, but you know, something I gotta work on. <laughs> so 
I wish we had more columns that were funky, uh, different types of designs. I really like that we have debug, though, so we have the options to have stuff that is um, different <laughs> for our build sometimes. Uh, but it would be nice to have some more interesting, quirky items as regular build mode items. And I'm sure we'll get some more cool stuff in the future. I'm really excited to see what we end up getting in the game in 2019. As far as expansion, stuff packs, game packs, all of that. I'm so excited. And like we haven't gotten any info yet. But I mean the gurus have teased a little bit about being really excited about what's coming. And it's how good it is. And I have no idea what it is. But like I want it because <laughs> I'm a Sims player and I always want new content for the game. So I'm really excited about that, whatever that may be. Hopefully it's something we've been asking for or something we didn't know we needed. So that will be really exciting because I would love it if it's like, here, we, we made this thing for you and we're like, we never asked for this, but how have we lived without it? Uh, that's something I would love. Uh, but this is the kitchen. It's very, very narrow, but I really like how it came out other than the like, you know, colors. And you can see I'm trying to block off some of these things coming into the house. I have all the snowballs and water balloons like hidden behind those curtains. And uh, also, I, I know I just said like <laughs> in the candy canes, I put columns on the inside so I didn't have them coming in and kind of changing the color scheme in a room. Also have this wonderful <laughs> and not I'm being sarcastic, uh, red <laughs> tiling in the kitchen. And we do change the cabinets to white and uh, add some decorations in here. I think the kitchen's probably one of the cuter. Uh, I like all of the rooms individually. I think the kitchen's the most over the top though. I really like the living room, but it's very over the top. It's just the whole place is a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely a Christmas house. <laughs> and I do want to do another Chris. There should be more Christmas stuff coming out this week and next Christmas slash winter things because we are in the countdown to Christmas now and uh, I haven't done a whole lot this month so I just want to get a couple of things in before the season is over and I'll probably have some kind of New Year's Eve build as well and then we'll be in the new year and I'm going to be taking on a new schedule and I'm sure there'll be lots of cool things to come. Uh, definitely more building on the channel and hopefully there'll be some new stuff to explore next year like I was just talking about so I'm just really excited for 2019. Uh, I'm also moving in 2019. I feel like 2019 is just going to be a good year. I really hope it is because the last couple of years for me have not been very good years. So I'm, I'm hoping 2019 is like the year for me. So we shall see. But I also used this table that I believe we got with the holiday update that, uh, well, the holiday pack, not the most recent update for it, that has some lovely uh, Christmas trees on the it. Also, we're getting an update to the holiday pack tomorrow, unless it changed the date, but they said most likely it will be on the 18th. So tomorrow, if you're watching this the day that it goes up on the 17th, on the 18th tomorrow, we will get new free content, which there's a bunch of really cool stuff. I really like some of it. We have a really nice picnic table and we have some more decorations. We, per, in particular, I'm thinking of those uh, like vases that have candles coming out of them. They are so pretty. I don't actually remember half of the stuff we're getting. I watched the stream and I was like, these things are beautiful. But um, we didn't know when when we were getting that at the time. And I kind of forgot what some of it is. And I'm not going to look into it because I'm going to be really excited when I download that update and get to explore it for myself. So that'll be really, really awesome. And hopefully... Mm, None of that stuff's going to make it into my builds this week, probably, though. That sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to pre-record um, this weekend, so I have a lot of stuff going out where I can kind of enjoy my birthday and enjoy Christmas without, like, over-stressing myself over finishing some videos. So I don't know if I'll have any builds with that stuff out. I probably will. I'll probably have something next week. Uh, with the new items. I don't know what yet though, but stay tuned for that. I'm definitely excited for getting a couple more Christmassy things up. We have, I think, what, two Christmassy things coming this week after today, and then next week we have two. So there's four more things coming, and then we'll be over the Christmas hype, over the winter. Well, I mean, I might still do winter builds because it's going to still be winter where I am for like a few more months. So there'll probably be a mixture of things, but I don't like overwhelm the channel with it's winter. So <laughs> uh, no worries on that. 
Uh, but we're just finishing up here. The bathroom's almost all the way done. This whole house came together fairly quickly because, I mean, it, it's, it's a very extreme color scheme. And I don't know. It, it's an interesting one. I really like the bedroom, though. It was nice to kind of break up the house and make the bedroom blue, whereas everything else is very red and green. So I, I did quite enjoy that. So we're going to do that here now. Use this beautiful bed from Get Famous and... Yeah, that's pretty much the build. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that little bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave any suggestions you have in the comments down below and enjoy the screenshots, which should be starting shortly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.